Hi everybody and welcome to SKF Talks. The electric vehicle industry has leapt forward in the last decade and we expect this trend to accelerate exponentially. Although we have already seen incredible growth in number of electric vehicles worldwide, forecasts from the electric car industry suggest that we have only just scratched the surface. Electric vehicle unit sales are expected to reach 16 million vehicles in 2027 and the most revenue will be generated in China. To discuss the future of electric vehicles, we have today with me Joanna Obanek Bator, powertrain and drive control business manager at SKF, and How To, out of China and Northeast Asia director at SKF. Hello, and thank you for being with us, Joanna and How. Happy to be here. Thank you. Joanna, how is SKF involved in electric vehicle industry? Yeah. Well, thank you. I estimate, you know, first of all, I estimate that in three years from now, one out of the three cars on the road will be electric. So that's the difference. So electrification in one of the three strategic areas for SKF Automotive, besides commercial vehicles and besides aftermarket. In fact, our electric vehicle portfolio has been growing faster than the market in the last years. But this strategic move to electric powertrain has started already several years ago. And current leading position would not be possible without heavy investment done earlier. And in really full value chain, it paid off, especially in China. Our goal is to keep strengthening those local for local capabilities in each of the regions. As you know, <clears throat> probably you know very well, SKF is very well known for strong engineering know-how. Our engineers work hand in hand with suppliers and customers so that the whole value chain is learning and improving on this electrification journey. Electric powertrain set very high standards, technology standards, like very high speed efficiency motor in high voltage environments. And to meet those requirements, we develop many, many very innovative solutions. SKF provides a couple of unique motor bearing uh, solutions, for example, the ones that use ceramics material, which ensure highest voltage leakage safety and highest performance. In fact, this combination in one product is nowadays unique on the market. And our brave strategic ambition to keep leading in innovation in EV and provide more and more even cost effective solutions for those markets. Thanks, Joanna. It seems like passenger cars are taking all the credit for the electric vehicle revolution, but commercial vehicles and two wheelers are also getting involved in the electrification of mobility. Are two wheelers and commercial vehicles growing as fast as passenger cars? Does SKF notice any impact on the demand for products for these vehicles? Yeah, good questions. Yeah, also for commercial vehicles, electrification is one of the three mega trends besides autonomous driving of a truck and also digitalization of a truck. As I said before, SKF put commercial vehicles among the strategic areas. It is not only because EV market is also growing there, but even rather because light vehicle solutions and commercial vehicle solutions are learning from each other. Take long mileage, for example. Commercial vehicle powertrain can have additional requirements, such a very long durability. And in passenger cars, extended lifetime is also a clear trend in fleet management or also in the future of car sharing. So SKF is working with truck manufacturers and has significant majority of market share, for example, here in Europe. When it comes to two and three wheelers, EV is booming. However, the clear market gravity is locally in Asia, especially in India and ASEAN markets, and that is where SKF Engineering and Innovation Competence Center for two and three wheelers is located. Well, to summarize all this, we are hip, happy really to contribute to clean mobility and provide electric drive solutions for all those markets. Thanks again, Joanna, for the interesting insights. How? Let's continue with you. Why is the use of electric vehicles growing faster in China than in other regions? And how does this affect the global market for electric vehicles? Yeah, uh, first of all, China is already the biggest uh, automotive market globally as a single country. 
So when we are talking about electrification, China is very interested. It started uh, back about 14 years ago when the China government started to invest uh, in the infrastructure for electrification, started to promote uh, in this direction as a cleaner uh, direction for automotive, because you know also China is actually short of natural resources. We import a lot of gasoline to support uh, uh, the ICE cars in this uh, market over here. So going electric is like a very big uh, move uh, in this uh, uh, big market over here. We are also China is benefiting for so many years in uh, so strong and robust supply base supply chain in this automotive industry, where we do have a lot of players over here, both global players and also domestic players who is innovating in electrification, taking a couple of local uh, brands as Neo uh, is developing heavily in this market over here. They're innovating. They're innovating in the way how they engage in the market. They're innovating in so-called swap stations, how they are actually attracting more and more people to get used to electrification. So this year already boomed uh, back into what Joanna mentioned. Hopefully in a few years time, one out of three cars should be electric, electric cars. Actually, this year is going to happen. Hopefully this year in China already, one out of three is going to be electric cars. So uh, with all those players like BYD, NEO, they started to export. Actually, they become another power to start to get engaged in other regions by exporting from China. It seems like you are going further than other regions. And how is SKF supporting the industry? What is the best selling product? Yeah, uh, SKF started to be engaged in this uh, market a long time ago. We worked with uh, the key players in developing new models, in developing new electric drive system, where we have uh, good products actually fits into this uh, condition. Uh, the condition actually is different compared to the traditional cars because it's uh, electrified. So there is uh, already electricity going through the system. We have a product called the hybrid bearing which is uh, the bearing using ceramic balls, which stops the electricity going through the system. Uh, so this is actually a very good product. And when you are talking about uh, electric cars, you care a lot about their mileage, how long they can, can they run. So that requires the bearings with low friction uh, capabilities, where we have been offering in the market the low friction solution, low friction taper roller bearing, low friction hybrid bearing, uh, low friction uh, hub unit bearing, uh, which is a very good selling product. Thank you for listening to us and stay tuned for the next topic. And don't forget to follow us on the SKF Automotive social media channels.